I want to talk to you guys about the cost of living in Hamilton, Ontario. My name is Daniel Hale. I'm a local real estate agent here in Hamilton. And lately, I've been helping a lot of people move to Hamilton, Ontario from all across the GTA and those more expensive cities. So a question I get a lot is, what is the cost of living in Hamilton, Ontario? People are constantly researching this and they know it's relatively cheaper compared to those bigger cities like Toronto. But it is important to note that the cost of living in Hamilton, Ontario can vary depending on each individual's needs. So I'm gonna give you some basic costs so that you have a better understanding. Now there's a lot of opportunity here in Hamilton, Ontario when it comes to the affordability of houses. You get a lot more bang for your buck and you still are close to those major cities so you really can get the best of both worlds. And the things to factor in when it comes to the cost of living Living in Hamilton, Ontario is of course the housing, your internet, your groceries, your transportation, all of that stuff. So first let's dive into the transportation. Hamilton, Ontario has great transportation by the way. There's bus routes running all throughout Hamilton, Ontario. You can take the Uber if you want. There's multiple GO trains. And Hamilton is also known to have one of the lowest congestion rates with traffic in all of Canada. So if you're driving yourself, you're gonna be very happy to hear that you will not be stuck bumper to bumper here. There's a lot of wider streets, one-way streets, and traffic does flow all throughout the day. But if you're taking the bus, and let's say your age is 20 and up, for a monthly bus pass here, you're gonna pay $125.50. Now, unless you're using the bus every single day, I wouldn't recommend getting a monthly pass because there are a lot of other options. You can just get a one-time use, a day pass, two-day pass, three day pass or a week pass. So there is a lot of options there for you. And if it is just a one time use, that's gonna be $3.70. And if you're taking the GO train, which is also very affordable and convenient because if you're working in let's say Toronto or other of the major cities, then you might wanna take the GO train in Hamilton because it's a lot easier on you for traffic. You can sit on the GO train, read a book, just relax and get from A to B without any stress or traffic concerns. So just to give you an example, if you're leaving the Hamilton Harbor GO train and you're going to Union Station in Toronto, that's gonna cost you $13.60. Now it all depends on where you're going, how far you're going and how often you're going. You can also get passes for the GO train as well, weekend pass or monthly pass. So take a look in that. I'll put a link in the description down below for the bus schedule and the GO train. And of course, if you're driving, your expense, you're gonna have to pay for gas and your car. You guys will know those numbers a lot better depending on what you are buying, but gas right now is around $1.60 to $1.80. Now let's talk about groceries. I have a family of four. My kids like to eat. I probably spend on groceries about $250 to $300 a week. So for my grocery bill, I'm spending about $1,500 a month. So depending on how many people you have in your family, that's how much you're gonna spend, but they do say the average grocery bill for an individual is around $150 to $200. Now Hamilton is also widely known for its wide variety of food options here, literally, there's just about any restaurant or type of food that you want to eat. So if you're looking to eat out, you can expect around lunchtime to spend about $20 to $30 for a single person. And on dinner time, you can expect to spend about $50 to $60 for two people, depending on where you go and the type of food that you want. There's also fast food just about everywhere if you just want something quick for like 15, 20 bucks. So if you like to eat out, those are the expectations that you can have. There is a restaurant on pretty much every street corner though, so it's gonna be close to you. And the authenticity here is incredible. I like just about everything, sushi, pasta, pizza, Jamaican food, whatever it is you want, I promise you it's here in Hamilton, Ontario and that's a big benefit of living here. You'll never get sick and tired of eating the same thing over and over and over again. Now entertainment, that's on you. If you guys wanna save some money, don't go out and spend a lot of money and do all that stuff. But if you like to go out and enjoy yourself, you have Hess Village, downtown Hamilton. Hamilton is also widely known and super popular for its sports. The Hamiltonians here are sports fanatics. 
So if you want to go and catch a game, you can go ahead and do that as well. So if you want to put in a little bit of a budget for that, every time you do go out, it's going to cost you around $100 depending on what you're doing. Now let's talk about the most important thing, housing. Internet for your house. Basic internet can range anywhere from $65 to $90 a month depending on how much speed you want. If you have kids and you don't want them bugging you every five seconds telling you your internet is slow, you're probably gonna spend more on the upper end of 80 to $90 a month. This way you don't have to listen to them when their game is lagging or stalling or their Wi-Fi is not working. I, I've been there, I've heard that, my kids do it to me. 80 to 90 dollars a month saves you a lot of headaches just do it <laughs> utilities this is your heat which is your gas or your electricity if you're in an apartment your hydro and your water bill utilities can range depending on where you're living sometimes you can rent out a condo and utilities will actually be included in your rent because the maintenance fee covers your utilities this is possible i've rented out a lot of those condos and there are those types of options now if you're renting an apartment and you're paying for your utilities, you can expect to pay around $200 because it's just a one bedroom condo, so it doesn't really have that much usage, but that's for your hydro and your gas. Now, let's say you're in a single family home. I'm in a single family home right now, and I spend anywhere around 400 to 450 bucks a month. So if you're a family, about four or five people, maybe budget for around that four to $500 a mark, Again, I don't know how much you guys shower, I don't know how much usage you're gonna do, but that's something that you wanna factor in. And expect to pay around four to $500 a month. My hydro bill right now is about $185 a month, then of course I have my gas and my water. And if you are purchasing a home, then you're gonna have your home insurance, which can be around $1,200 to $1,500 a year, and you're also gonna have your property taxes. Now your property taxes will also vary depending on the type of home that you're buying. You might get a condo and pay around $2,000 or you might have a single family home with a bigger lot, maybe 2,500 square feet and pay around $4,000. So depending on what you're buying, that price will vary as well. So when you do look for a home to purchase, make sure you pay attention and ask the question, what are the property taxes on this house? This way you will know and you can factor that in when you're getting your pre-approval on your mortgage. Now let's talk about housing, the thing you need to prepare for the most. If you're renting a place, you can expect to rent a one bedroom apartment anywhere from $1,800 to $2,200 a month. A two bedroom apartment, anywhere from $2,200 to $2,500 a month. Now of course there are lower options if you want to rent a basement apartment or if you're a student near McMaster University or Mohawk, you can get a room around $500 to $800 a month. Now if you're looking to buy a home here in Hamilton, Ontario, the average price for a home in all of Ontario right now at the time of this video is just over $814,000. But the amazing thing about Hamilton, Ontario, which is is why so many people are moving here is the price varies so much so you have the affordability options I've sold houses here recently for under five hundred thousand dollars two bedroom freehold houses you can get condos in the three hundred thousand dollar range so if you do have a budget under five hundred thousand dollars or six hundred thousand dollars you can absolutely still purchase a home here in Hamilton Ontario it's a beautiful thing just make sure you purchase in the appropriate area so if you you want to talk about that shoot me an email or send me a text now if you're looking for something more on the expensive end this is also an option for you too if you want to buy on the Hamilton Mountain you can expect to pay around eight hundred thousand dollars or more for a home and I actually have a graph right here for you guys that if you take a look at I will show you the average price for an apartment if you're purchasing an apartment condo style unit you're gonna pay just over $529,000. Now, if you're looking for a townhouse, which is attached on both sides, a row unit, the average price is just over $744,000. And if you're looking for a semi-detached home, which means you're only attached to just one other neighbor, the average price is just over $750,000. Now, if you want a detached home, I'm talking a three, four, five bedroom home, the average price is around $891,000. And the price will vary depending on the lot size, the square footage, the overall luxuriousness of this home. So some can go above a million dollars, 
Just depends on what you're looking for. So no matter what, whether you're looking to rent here or buy here, you will have the options and you can find a place within your affordability. And if you need help with that and finding the perfect home that fits all your criteria in the areas that are best for you and safe for you and your kids, just shoot me an email, send me a text or give me a call. I'd be happy to help you guys and I'll see you in the next video.